Welcome to John Fallon's Indie Film NYC Podcast, where we are merging the art and business of independent filmmaking. I'm your host, John Fallon. On this episode of the podcast, I interviewed Jenny Frankfurt, former literary manager and co-administrator of Finish Line Script Competition, which is going into its second year of operation. A big part of independent filmmaking is entering some of the many festivals and competitions that run each year. There are the traditional film festivals where you are able to show your finished work in front of an audience and possibly earn some accolades. There are pitch competitions where you try to quote-unquote sell a film or TV idea to a competition committee based solely on how you talk about the idea. And there are screenwriting competitions where the finished script is judged on whether or not your story is written well and if it's ready to be made into a successful film. With all these festivals and competitions out there, it can be difficult to know which one will help you professionally and where to invest your money. That's why when there is a competition that has a unique hook with some potentially career-changing perks for the winner, it's worth exploring what they are doing and why. One such One such screenwriting festival is the Finish Line Script Competition. The most unique aspect of this competition is that its main focus is on improving the quality of your writing. If you feel that the script you want to enter is as good as it will ever be, then you can submit the same way you would to any competition. But if you choose to, you can get a mentor that will read your script and give you, I believe, six pages of notes. Once you have the notes, you can rewrite the screenplay and resubmit your work at no extra charge. In fact, you can go through that process as many times as you would like and resubmit at any time before they go into the final judging round. You don't even need to use their script consultants. You can get notes from whoever you want, even if that's just you reevaluating and rewriting it on your own, you can still you can still submit a new draft when you feel you need to. The reason they do this is because it's Jenny Frankfurt's desire that the best possible script you can write about the story you are wanting to tell is the one that the judges evaluate. The other aspect that makes this competition unique is that because of the numerous contacts that they have developed over the years, they will get the script that wins the grand prize to any one of the writers choosing. So obviously they cannot influence what the contact will do with the script, if anything, But this kind of direct access is something that you will not find in any other festival or composition. Even the cream of the crop competitions like the Nickel don't make these types of promises. Sure, the winner of the Nickel will get reads from industry people, but there is no assurance that they will get a chance at a meeting or that anyone will take the time to read their script and talk with them. With that in mind, I invite you to listen to my interview with Jenny Frankfurt of the Finish Line Script Competition. I want to welcome Jenny Frankfurt to the podcast today. How are you doing today, Jenny? Very well, thanks, John. Good. So, uh, I guess uh, we brought you on because you're part of the, uh, the Finish Line Script Competition. Yep. And uh, you know, I want to talk a lot about that today. But uh, before we talk about the competition itself, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about kind of who you are and uh, you know what what you did in the film industry that kind of led you to uh, to where you're at today? Sure. Well, I've been uh, been at this for a while. I um, I'm a New Yorker. Started in New York myself, and uh, I went to NYU. And I uh, always wanted to work in representation, and uh, I don't know why, just something that I felt I'd have uh, some skill at. So I started doing that really early, and I worked in New York at William Morris, and I worked for the head of the theater department there. So I got my feet wet with writers and um, serious writers, not that film writers aren't serious, but playwrights, you know, where it's, you know, sort of like the old tradition, uh, Shakespearean tradition of playwriting. And uh, so it got me really interested in writing. And um, from there, I moved to LA and worked at ICM and then sort of and worked there with writers and directors and actors. And so I was getting my feet wet in all different kinds of aspects of representation. And ultimately I felt like writers were my, were my heart and uh, I felt best, best equipped uh, emotionally and intellectually to, to represent them. I'm an avid, avid reader, which I think you have to be 
to be a really good writer. And I'm not a really good writer, by the way, but <laughs> I'm a really good reader of writing. And um, I have an understanding of writing through, you know, a lot of, ri- of reading of writing and of uh, learning from people who understand writing well. And so I started rep- representing some talent, but mainly writers and some directors and some filmmakers doing both. And uh, I just, I've been in management for uh, uh, most of my career and um, spent sort of the later part of that aspect of my career working on bringing, not fully doing this, but working on bringing uh, writers and directors from, let's say, the UK and trying to break them into the US or from Australia or from wherever, from Europe, mm. wherever there was talent you know, that just needed that little extra push here. Um, it's a very hard thing to do, but we had some success, which I'm really proud of. And it opened me up to a whole new world of, of filmmaking and writing and um, tax credits in the UK mm-hmm. and Australia and all around the world, financing and stuff. So that was really um, educational as well. And I spent a lot of time in London. and um, So I've worked sort of around the globe a little bit. And... Um, and finally, I decided I, I didn't want to manage anymore, but I really wanted to stay connected to writing somehow. And how could I do that? And there, you know, through a string of events, uh, came up with the Finish Line Script Competition, which had its uh, first year last year, which was a great success. And we're gearing up for our second year, starting December 13th, so a little over well, about six about six weeks, a little five, five, five weeks ish. I'm really mm-hmm. excited about it, and it's just been really satisfying, um, certainly for me. And uh, we've had great feedback, so I'm excited to get get going again. So you said you started taking submissions on uh, December 13th. Yes, we have early submissions. We'll start December 13th, and um, we have our. Uh, dates or new dates, some new prizes um, up on our website, which is www.finishlinescriptcomp.com. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited and, to, to get going, how- putting together our, uh, our, our industry pro list as we speak, so putting the final touches on the people that the winner will be able to, uh, you know, have read their script and have a conversation or meeting with, and it's a really great group, so I'm excited. And how long is the duration? Like, so when is the final script, uh, you know, the grand prize winner announced? The grand prize winner is announced, I think, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure it's August 22nd. So we sort of moved it up a little bit. It was around that time. I think it was September last year, uh, this past few months, um, and this past yeah, a couple of months. I believe it was mid-September, so we moved it up a little bit um, just to, to give it a little extra time, people over the holidays maybe getting their scripts in and working on their scripts and stuff like that. So I know I have often have some time in, over the holidays, um, you know, when I'm tired of hanging out with my family and <laughs> ready to do some work on my own stuff and uh, it would be great to be able to, you know, Sure. No, and I ask because I, I think you know uh, one uh, uh, criticism I guess that some writers have on, about competitions in mm-hmm. general, but but script competitions is they feel so rushed. You know, uh, mm-hmm. you know how how are people plowing through all these scripts so fast? So to me, it sounds like you guys are giving it enough time for oh, yeah. the uh, for for the process to happen, for for things to be read and all that stuff, which is great. Well, yeah, and one of the reasons, I mean, the, the hook of our competition, um, and this is, this is really why the competition was started. I mean, there's a ton of competitions out there, let's be honest, and some of them are sure. really great, and they have, comp- they, have, uh, they have opportunities to win $25,000 and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and maybe one day that'll be what, uh, what we can provide. But I don't think the money is, is, is key here. I mean, obviously, we have a nice little chunk of change. And we're operating it this year um, from last year. But um, I think the key to the script competitions are, are to, uh, on one basis, on, on overall basis, should be who, what do you get from them? 
You know, I mean, what's mm-hmm. the point? Is it just notch, another notch on the belt? Because that, you know, at the end of the day, if you just win a lot of script competitions but nothing happens with your material, isn't a whole bunch to shout about. And it's nice and it says something good about your writing, but you want your writing to happen. You know, you want more than that to happen with your writing. So we've put together on one level, um, right now we've got 23 pros. Last year we had 21 pros. And these are people from every walk of the profession, uh, agents, managers, uh, producers, executives, TV, film, uh, attorneys who, you know, will talk about, you know, entertainment attorneys who would talk about what that, you know, what, what writers can do to protect themselves, all of this stuff, giving their time and uh, knowledge to uh, the winner. And this year we're also having them reach out to both the first runner-up and the second up, second runner-up, not all of them, but the second runner-up and the first runner-up will be able to choose a couple that they'll get their script to and be able to talk to. Um, so it's not all just going to the grand prize winner. And, um, you know, so far I have to be, I mean, I'm not going to put it in stone yet, but a couple of uh, semifinalists from our competition have gotten representation from our competition. The grand prize winner is in the process right now of getting through those 21 phone calls and meetings <laughs> in, he's in the UK. So there was a few, there were a few people in the UK that he's, that he's met with and is, is meeting with in person, and mostly he's been having phone calls, which have all gone really well, and so far he's, he's getting close to getting representation, which is fantastic. Um, and we're expanding, by the way, the, uh, the international aspect. We've added more UK uh, representation because we had so many uh, submissions from the UK and mm-hmm. a Canadian uh, agent. A literary agent as well. Um, so, you know, we took a look at who was sending us material and thought, you know, it's hard enough to make it in Hollywood. Why not, you know, I mean, stay home and <laughs> make it where you live uh, mm-hmm. if you live in Canada or the UK and, you know, really get the same, you know, get a good opportunity from, you know, from your win. But going back uh, to your original um, comment about the length of the competition, you know, the, 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 the twist, or not the twist, but the, you know, the hook of this competition, rather, is that we, it's a competition about, if you want it to be, it can be about rewriting. You can submit your script as is and leave it, and that's fine. I mean, there is no, uh, we don't pick a winner because they got notes from us. Mm-hmm. Um, some, some of our winners did get notes from us and rewrote, others didn't. So it's, it's just really based on how good the script is at the end of the day. It's in great shape. Great, send it in. You know, I mean, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter to us how, how involved we are with it. But one of the reasons this, the process is as long as it is, is that we allow people to uh, purchase at a very, very reasonable price notes, which I, I'd like to talk about it later on about why I think notes are important to writers, sure. but at a very, at a very good price um, notes. And you can keep getting them as many times as you want. So you can go through the process of rewriting, of, of going back and you work with the same person. So they're familiar with you. They've invested in you. Um, they don't have uh, any influence on whether you win or not, except to help you get your script better. That's it. Okay. And so, the, so those people and, are, are and simply... Uh, These people are consultants. Function. Yeah, they're script consultants who work for agencies, who work for other script competitions like, you know, Nickel and Page and all of our competition. They know scripts. Some of them are writers themselves. Some of them are, you know, professional script consultants. Some of them are, you know, managers, and they are, you know, giving you six pages of notes, comprehensive notes. And you can come back, get, you can get the notes, you can rewrite your script, and then you can resubmit it for free. The resubmission mm-hmm. is for free, and you can then go back and rewrite it again and submit it for free. And you don't have to take our notes again. You don't have to mm-hmm. take notes from us. You can go and get notes from your cousin. I don't mm-hmm. care who you get your notes from. You can keep, <laughs> once you've paid your first entry fee, which is a normal mm-hmm. entry fee, 
you know, 35 at the early bird, uh, 45 for the rest of the time. We don't up it at the end for the late comers. We just, we're not here to gouge you. We're here to help you mm-hmm. make the script better. So at the end of the day, one of the things that happened, first of all, all of that takes time. We know that rewriting is a process. So it does sort of elongate the process of the script competition because we want people to take their time within reason to rewrite the script. And um, we have deadlines and stuff, which is all on our site. And we send out notices saying, your deadline's coming up, blah, blah, blah. And some mm-hmm. people are right and some people don't. And that's totally fine. Um, but what we have found is that two, two, two out of the three scripts that one uh, did do a rewrite based on our notes. One of them didn't. Um, it helps. You know, notes help just to, in general. I mean, sure. if you've got yeah. an intelligent person who knows what they're doing, giving notes, then they help. Um, you don't have to take them all. It's not, we're not checking boxes and saying, oh, they didn't take that bit of advice. That's a strike against them. We just want you to get your best script. And if you come out as a semifinalist, you don't come out one of our three finalists or two finalists and the winner, what we have found is that the script that you leave our competition with that you send into other competitions has been winning and placing in other competitions. We have people send, you know, uh, posting on Twitter and sending us emails saying, you know, the scripts that I, you know, got the semifinalists, my final draft, now just won this competition or this competition or this competition or placed top ten or this. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get your script better. Whether, it, whether you benefit from, from our prizes or not is, is, you know, is a completely separate thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to help writers. And no, we're not doing it for free. Uh, it takes a lot of time. But we're doing it for a pretty good price. I mean, honestly, as a, somebody who did script consulting, uh, you know, this is nowhere near the price that I would charge for uh, six, six pages of notes, which is pretty, uh, pretty plentiful. So anyway, I know I've been talking a long time, but I just want to make clear that like, if you don't win, but you take advantage of the script, uh, of the opportunity to rewrite, and rewriting is hard. I mean, nobody loves it by any means, but it's necessary. Um, then, you know, take it and enter it in another competition. We're not greedy. <laughs> Spread the wealth. <laughs> You know, sure. um, and we're happy to we're happy to be used in any way. I mean, if you end up winning, great. If you if you don't, go take what we've helped you with and what you've done with what we've you know given you and and prosper elsewhere. We're we're happy to have you happy. So. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, like you said, you're taking uh, you're taking advantage of, at the very least of, of improving your script overall. And yeah. It's still your script, so you still. That's here. right. That's right. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, the the, you know the tagline is sort of everyone's a winner, and it and it's true. Yeah, you may not be getting the fifteen hundred dollars or you know meeting with with the pros, and and obviously that's what your what you want your goal to be, perhaps. But if you don't, and you do take advantage of the rewriting, you have improved your script, and and you know frankly, this came from an idea where. As a manager um, who got a lot of you know queries or who was reading a lot of scripts for competitions that were like, "Oh, this would be good if it were rewritten. That was really where mm-hmm. it came from. This would be good if somebody got notes on it. It needs a, mm. you know it needs something it needs somebody should have gotten notes and rewritten this before and uh, it, 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 that's where the it germinated from, you know. It was like, why not allow people to get the notes? Because a lot of script competitions offer notes, but that's it. I mean, mm-hmm. it's too late after that. <laughs> You've entered it, you can get notes, but you can't resubmit, you know, unless you or not, not do it all over least. again or, right. or not, you know. And this way, we, we submit for free. I mean, you know, we're not trying to, like I said, we're not trying to gouge you. We, we want you to get the best chance possible. So, you know, um, we, we, want uh, you, we had some great, great scripts come through and really ran the gamut of, you know, really improving. 
through our through our process. And, and so, as I said, some of it was our process. Listen, we don't have anything to do with it. We'll give you notes. You know, the writer is the writer, and they're gonna sure. they're gonna learn how to do it. You know, or or, or not. And they're gonna take it seriously or not. And it's it's you know. So so we're we're here to help. But but beyond that, we're gonna choose the best script. And, right. and and that script is is the best is the best written script. It's not the most commercial script. It's not you know the 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 biggest the most marketable script. That's not what we're we're looking for. If it turns out that it is, that's great. But we're looking for the script that we feel like came out the best. So I want to talk about that a little bit. Is uh, yep. you know I I talk with a lot of uh, writers and stuff, and and you know they they were they will express, you know, their frustrations from time to time. And so, uh, you know, that's definitely one of those questions that I get all the time is, uh, you know, what, what are, like, what is the thing that you're looking for? So, for instance, if, uh, I mean, everybody's pretty familiar with the blacklist at this point, and, uh, you know, that's, that's not as much of a uh, uh, script consulting service as much as it is, uh, we think this movie could get made on our one to 10 right. scale. You know, we, we, mm-hmm. this is a, a viable movie, right. which is totally yeah. different from what screen, screenwriting competitions generally are. So right. what are the criteria that, that people are looking for in, you know, your competition specifically, because you obviously know that a little more intimately, you sure. know, again, is it, are they looking for marketability? Or, you know, what, what are the things that really draw the reader to say, yeah, this this needs to move on and be considered as a semifinalist or a finalist. Yeah, well, you know, I think more than anything, we kind of went in the vein of how the Nickel Fellowship works. Uh, Nickel Fellowship, you know, from the Academy is you know, sort of the gold standard, uh, in my opinion, at least, in a lot of people's opinion. And it's based on writing. It's what which is the best piece of writing. Um, you know, some obviously nickel scripts have been produced, and, and many haven't. And, um, but it's about what was the best piece of writing, not the most marketable script, not the script that, you know, is going to make, you know, $200 million on the opening weekend or whatever. Um, like I said, if, if, that, if that happens and, you know, there's like kismet between those two sides, that's fantastic. I mean, that's the ideal but I guess what it comes down to, first of all, there are, there are a certain criteria, which, is, which are, you know, the voice. You cannot take away the importance of a script's voice, the writer's voice coming through in a script. Is this a sort of cookie-cutter characters in a very predictable situation kind of thing? Or, you know, is this something new? And are people speaking in ways that, you know, are thoughtful and, uh, funny or whatever it is, you know, whatever the genre is, is it capitalizing on that to the best of its ability? You know, if it's funny, does it make you laugh out loud? If it's sad, are you actually crying? If it's, you know, dra- dramatic, is it something that's really kind of hitting your soul or whatever it is? If it's, if it's an action script, you know, are the, are the scenes of action just like really exciting? Um, so ultimately there's its voice its plot its character it's the theme you know the meaning of the script um emotional aspects of the script because every script regardless of the genre has to have an emotional aspect i mean you look at a movie like uh, the revenant which is this big adventure movie you know in the wilderness with the bear and you know it's emotionally based. I mean, it's about this guy's retribution for the, de- the killing of his, of his son. And um, that's what leads the whole script. So it's a very emotional movie, even though there's a bunch of action in it and a bunch of an adventure and, you know, drama. So that's important, and that's wherever. That's in every – it has to be in every um, – in every genre. But what we realized, and, you know, we were sort of figuring it out as we, not as we went along, but what we realized last year when it came down to the highest uh, scored 
scripts, and those those are the ones that ultimately went to the judges um, that are separate from from the competition, that are industry people, who would then read them and and decide who was the winner, and second and, and third place. Um, was you know how did that script sit with you? Like, could you did you forget about it, or did you think about it the next day or the next week? Or did it creep into your thoughts at a stoplight, you know, or stuff like that? Mm-hmm. And um, we found that, that that was the case with the three that were ultimately chosen, was that you couldn't kind of shake them. Um, mm. Whether it was, you know, and, and, there was, and, and that was actually true of several that placed sort of in the top ten, where that for some reason, whether it was because they were funny or clever or emotional or violent, you know, but beautifully violent, and they, you know, as scripts can be, mm-hmm. um, that they, you thought about them, you know, I mean, if reading hundreds and hundreds of scripts, it's easy to forget about some of them, and, and that's what you don't want to have happen when you enter a script into a competition. You don't want it to be forgotten. Um, you want it to stick with a reader, and, and it did. And, uh, yeah. and, you know, that's what really ultimately made those scripts win, was that we, didn't, we couldn't forget about them. We couldn't shame them for whatever sure. their purpose, whatever. And, and that's what we're looking for. And, again, that doesn't mean that they have to be this big, deep, dark movie and, you know, like a comedy can never win. It's, you know, uh, if we're laughing and we can't forget how much we laughed, and, you know, the jokes were great and the characters were great and it was hysterical. That's, that's memorable, as, you know, as much as something that made us weep. So. Sure. Now, are these conversations that you're having with the readers, like, on a regular basis? Or how, how, how in touch with you are, uh, are you with the readers? Oh, very, very much. I mean, um, you know, I, I see, we see their their feedback. I, I read all the feedback anyway. I do some feedback myself as well. And then we read, I read everything to make sure that it's, you know, intelligent and it's of the caliber that we want to send out and, this, and when that's the case. And, and that it also has a balance of this is good too, you know, not like mm-hmm. this is horrible and you need to change all of this, but that, you know, there's hope in there. Um, and, if, and if there isn't hope, or if there's a, a lot less hope than you would hope, um, that there are suggestions of how to fix mm-hmm. it, you know, that it's constructive. Um, and um, so, yeah, we're talking about it all the time. And we have systems where we flag in our, in our computer system where we flag things that, you know, might be potential, you know, semifinalists. And this year... We're, mm-hmm. we're including quarter finalists, which we didn't do last year because we just didn't know what the turnout was going to be. So we kind of skipped. Sure. We went from zero to semi finalists and then to winners. But this year we're going to do quarter finalists as well, which I think is is going to be good for people to to have and uh, it gives them all the more opportunity to you know feel energized and improve their script. Sure. To get to the next level as well. So. So you're saying that kind of you're uh, one of the last lines of defense, sort of, so to speak, before <laughs> notes go to. Uh, so if I like if I submit my script, for instance, and I get the the feedback, that I'm going to get assigned a reader yep. uh, that that reads it, and then but you're you or, or somebody on your level is going to take a look at you know what's going to go out before it comes to me. Well, I don't change anything. I just change. Sure, just, sure. I mean, it just comes, you know, I mean, it's not like there's just some rogue reader who's out there saying, you know, things about your script. I mean, there's a process, and um, mm-hmm. I read all the coverage that goes out, and I make sure okay. that it's, like I said, like it's, you know, of a of a constructive, appropriate uh, uh, manner, and all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed so that we're not sure. criticizing you on grammar while ours is bad and uh you know <laughs> yeah. and uh, no and and i only bring that up because i i find that's unique and i i think that's great i mean i think uh you know uh somebody i was speaking to the other day uh he's, he's a professional you know working screenwriter and mm-hmm. he said that uh you know uh i think he said that the real rub for him was kind of how he said it was that uh 
he doesn't know who's reading these first scripts or the first mm. the first round. You know, cause mm-hmm. obviously the the uh, the the semifinals and the finalists when you're picking the winners are you know are well established uh, professionals. But so yeah. you know, is it just you know some kid in high school or? Oh, no, these are, you know, a screenwriting 101 class. (laughs) Not at all. I mean, our our script consultants, whether they're just reading or whether they're doing the notes, you know, either way, because as I said, you don't have to get notes to enter the competition. Um, In fact, last year, I'd say it was about half and half, um, is that um, these are, you know, uh, these are, professional readers or people who read, you know, professionally, you should say, um, who, who read for competitions like Nickel, like Page, like Austin, like Tracking Board, like Pipeline, ScreenCraft, all of the majors, um, who also, uh, some of them read for CAA, some of them read for, uh, for um, uh, Fox and various other uh, uh, movie studios and agencies, some of them read for the, the Writers Guild competitions. I mean, really, you know, these are thoughtful, talented, uh, knowledgeable people about about writing um, who have a lot of experience in giving notes and um, and are, I think, what by the by the notes you can tell that they are first of all, you know, um, and and by the feedback of the notes, um, which has been almost uh, 99.9%, you know, really extraordinarily positive and uh, mm-hmm. telling us how, how helpful they've been, um, you know, shows that the level of, of people that we have working, uh, you know, to, to help the writer. So these are all people who love writers and who work with writers or are writers and, you know, in some capacity and uh, are, you know, are, are a part of, you know, the process here of helping writers get the best script they can, you know, mm-hmm. as I said, whether it ends up winning or whether it, it ends up being the best script that you can query with or send out to an agent or a production company or enter into another competition or use as a sample or try and sell or whatever it is that, you know, we'll do what we can to get it into the best shape and then, we turn it over to you, the writer, obviously. Um, but the more you work with us, the more we'll work with you, obviously, on it. And, and we had some people who, you know, gathered, who, gave, you know, who took a, a set of notes, and we had people who took five sets of notes, you know. I mean, uh, you know, because on it, I, I, it's my opinion that you can't rewrite once, uh, but you don't always have to rewrite five times. Sometimes you do. And that's great. That doesn't really, it's not a criticism. It's just, a pro, you know, everybody has their own process. So it's just either, but you, you don't get it right on the first try. Nobody does. It's just sure. uh, scripts need to be, uh, they need a new set of eyes and they need, uh, they need somebody who's, uh, you know, got some, some distance from them emotionally, you know, to say, you, you got to take this out and this doesn't work, or you've got to build this <laughs> up because it's working but not enough, or, you know, what's this big hole here? You can't see a lot of that stuff on your own because you're too attached right. to it, you know. And if you're not attached enough, that's another issue. So it's sort of, you know, we're here to, you know, we're, in theory, you know, we say we, we act like an executive, you know, who's helping you develop your script. Um, who's mm-hmm. interested in your script and is saying, I'm going to help you work and get this better, and then let's see what we can do with it. And so you work with the same person, you know, who's who's invested in you and is familiar yeah. with the script, so they're not coming at it from all different, you know, you're not sending it in and getting one person. You know, I know people who, do bla- who submit to the blacklist and they get negative for, a, you know, so-so feedback. And right. so they submit it again. And they get a better one, and they're like, "Hey, I got a better." It's like, you know, I mean, sure, but like, how about sticking with the same person who's, who's, uh, you know, I mean, if you get one feedback that's a six, and you get one that's a nine, which one are you really supposed to believe? You're gonna to want to believe the nine, but of course, yeah. but you know, 
there's got to be consistency, and that's what we're trying to provide. We're trying to provide that service in a in a in a competition right. setting. So when right. you're actually getting the notes, you're also in, you're also entered into a competition. So um, you're in the running as soon as you enter, and what you do right. with that is up to you. You know, if you want to work on it as you go, that's great. And if you're happy to just leave it, that's great too. You may have already gotten notes. This may be your final product, you know, final draft that you're sending in. Sure. So. Yeah, no, I, I'm actually, you know, very surprised that, that more people don't, uh, you know, go through this process themselves. Like the fact that you had to kind of come up with this as a model for <laughs> huh? the competition, it just speaks volumes to uh, yeah. how in their own headspace uh, some artists, in general, can be you know writers are certainly artists. So uh, uh, well, it's true. I mean, nobody likes to rewrite. I think that's the key. That's the truth. I mean, it's hard. It's where the real work comes. It's it's not that writing is ever easy, but people can get a story down. Um, sure. And then they're kind of like, oh, I've done it. You know, yay, I've done it. Now let's get it out there. But the fact is, is that nobody likes to pick apart, you know, it's like sort of like having to show your math, you know, when you're, I have an eight-year-old, and you got to right. show your work, you know, and it's sort of like, he doesn't want to show his work, he wants to like do it in his head, or he wants to do it on a calculator and pretend it's his, or whatever, and he's right. like, you got to show how you're working this, you got to show where you're going to change it, and we have that like their scripts from the first, I mean, the first to the second draft, or from certainly from the first to the third draft were, were like, unrecognizable mm. you know they made the commitment to improve their script i mean if you're if you're right if you're a writer that's your job it's it's right. you know i mean there is a point where you stop and you're like i've done it i can't do anymore and then uh, we're and we're we're behind that by the way we've said to people sure. i don't think you need more notes i mean i don't know what else to tell you you know like <laughs> this is who you are this is your writing you know it's uh, you know, there's nothing more to say. I mean, right. you know, like, and we've yeah, that I mean, to people. Like, the story, the story has gone notes. to its, uh, the story has gone yeah. to its final conclusion. Right? Yeah, yeah, and this there is, there is the story. There, there's always a point with that with scripts, yeah. you know, where really just the more you tinker with it, the worse it gets at a certain point. Um, so, you know, we try and find that that balance. But you're right. I mean, um, people don't, people don't. I mean, it's hard work. And, and hard, mm-hmm. some people really uh, love doing hard work, and some people hate it. And most people hate it. Most people who love it also hate it. You know, it's hard. Right. It's yeah. gratifying, but it's hard. And so I think we thought that if you were in this, in a competition setting already, so that you were already in it, um, you know, and that you could work with, with us to get it better, without us having any sort of, you know, without us being, since we're not the one choosing the final winners, since we're, right. you know, just trying to be as neutral as possible. We never say to anybody, you can win this with this, with this script or anything like that. Mm-hmm. We do, but we do say, this is incredibly improved. You, you really know how to rewrite. Um, some people can rewrite, some people can't. It's really, I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's a talent. Uh, but it's an it's an imperative one if you want to have a serious go at writing um, in any format, whether it's television, which we also obviously uh, we have uh, you know we accept uh, pilot scripts and we had a few mm-hmm. we didn't have a pilot script in our uh, in our three finalists, but we had a couple that came pretty close and I'd really love to get one in there this year because we have some incredible uh, TV people on our list this year. Uh, industry people, but um, regardless, I mean, books, you know, right, whatever medium you're writing in, you can't, you know, your first draft is literally just getting it down there. Um, sure. And and if you know how to rewrite, then you can take your own stab at it. But a lot of people don't, and and mm. so I think that we offer a, a really good service while you're in competition, which you know, sort of, you know, that's unique. Well, yeah, it's it's like an added bonus, but also, you know, you don't have to rush to like, oh, I got to get the comp, I got to get into the, you know, I got to make it the, until the competition closes and it's not ready. And I'm just like, you don't have to rush. Enter it and keep working on it. Sure. You know, and that, so there is a little time to breathe. 
some people take a little bit too much time to breathe, I think. <laughs> and, you know, and then, then, then they rush their, their rewrite. But, um, sure. you know, everybody does their own thing. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, whoever does it, um, I, I, I hate to say, you know, whoever does it the best, but, I mean, whoever ends up with the script that just ends up being the one that you clearly understand is, is the most special the most memorable, the one that you can't forget, scenes that stay with you, theme, a theme that stays with you, characters that stay with you, dialogue that stays with you. That's the one that's going to have the most uh, opportunity to win. And as I said, I don't, want to, uh, I don't want to focus that on any genre because I don't want to be a competition. I mean, everybody always says, well, comedies can't win or, you know, action scripts. They can. Mm. They can win. I mean, you know, a great action movie is like nothing else, mm. in my opinion. You know, I mean, I love those Bourne movies. I loved, you know, uh, Edge of whatever it was, the Tom Cruise movie they, um, with Emily oh, right. Blunt. Which yeah, where they keep going back in time. It keeps going back in time. I mean, that's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Inception. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can make a great, you know, we'll, we'll take Inception, sure. <laughs> Inception will win, you know. Nice. nice. So, so let's, yeah. let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the folks who won, uh, not necessarily uh, those, those artists, but the uh, kind of the perks they got for, for getting the winning. Sure. So, like, uh, obviously there's a cash prize for the grand prize winner. Uh, yeah. Well, the, but, uh, the, the way the way that it here's how it goes for the I'll start with the the first runner up and the second runner up. What they get okay. is um, they get a, a, a membership to uh, ISA Network Connect, which is a you know ISA Network is a is a web uh, is a screenwriting hub, and their Connect Network really does connect you with. Uh, with other writers, with screenwriting opportunities, you know, it's just the basis of, of having a community, whether you're, you know, in Iowa or in Los Angeles, you know, online. Um, so that's, so they get that. Um, and they get uh, a certain amount of money to spend at the writer's store, um, which is also online. Writer. It's also down in Santa Monica, but it's uh, writerstore.com. And we don't, we're not getting any money from them. So, I mean, this is just, these are just places that we thought were really helpful for writers to have, you know, prizes from. Mm-hmm. So different amounts of, you know, gift certificates. And then they get, um, everybody uh, gets um, free consultation from us for a year. So, you know, they can enter their scripts and get free consultation or outside of the competition, we'll give them notes. And uh, advice, you know, and, and, you know, should I do this? Should I do that? Da, 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 how should I do, you know, whatever. If, that, if that's something that they need, if they're not uh, plugged into to places where they can get advice. And so far, everybody has taken advantage of, of that, which has been great. Um, uh, our grand prize winner, um, is we keep him we're keeping him very busy at the moment uh he's meeting and and talking because he's in the uk uh talking on the phone skyping meeting when possible with 21 industry pros that's um, managers agents uh, film executives tv executives filmmakers writers you know anybody um, and we will do an interview. There is an interview with him up on our website um, that scriptmag.com did. But also, once he's finished with this process, we'll do an interview with him and see how it all went and what he gained from it. Um, as I said, he's very close to getting signed by one of the UK agents, and that's fantastic. Um, and that's obviously a great goal. It may not happen, and we can't guarantee anything like that. But, you know, it's all based on, you know, We'll, we'll make the introduction, and what happens from there will, you know, is really up to the, the, the two parties, of course. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, lots of advice. I know he's gotten a lot of people who want to read the next script and are open to conversations. He's had, you know, lengthy conversations with these people. Really just, I mean, so far, <clears throat> all the feedback I've gotten from him and from the people he's met with has been great. You know, I'm sure some people 
respond better to the material than others or are more in tune. You know, it's not a TV script, so the TV people are going to give him advice on projects that he has, has in his mind about TV and stuff like that. So, um, you know, but there's a way to use anybody's advice in this industry, and it can be vague or it can be specific or it can be immediately helpful or it will be helpful down the line. So um, we're opening the door. He gets money. He gets a bigger amount of uh, gift certificate uh, at the writer's store. And one mm -hmm. of the things that we did, and um, which uh, I think we'll do again, is that he, we offered the opportunity for his script to go to, to anybody that he wanted it to. Um, and the reason that we can do that is because through you know, the years and years and years of time spent in this industry, uh, you know, we just have a lot of contacts, and uh, we're going to get his script to whoever he wants it to, and he's working on who that's going to be, um, whether that's an, a, uh, a director or a producer or an actor or whoever he, th however he chooses, and we've been talking about it and, you know, advising him on, you know, who might be the best person for that and who's, you know, might be most receptive and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. And we, when he's chosen, we will get that script directly to that person, not to their agent, but to that person. And um, so we're waiting to hear back on who that's going to be. But, um, you know, we just we want to try and give, them, uh, give the winner and, and the runners-up, you know, something that they feel good about and some place that they can come where they can ask for advice or, you know, I've written this. Do you think this is good or do you think, you know, out of these two, which treatment do you think is the best one to, you know, start developing the most or um, so it's, you know, or, you know, just from us, like, you know what, I do know somebody who might like this. I'm going to send it to them. And, you know, I mean, why wouldn't we do that? We're, you know, it would be crazy if we didn't know, you know, have, have the contacts and be able to help. But the, the winner is the one who, yes, does get the bulk of the, of the, uh, the benefit of, um, you know, meeting all of these people. And last year, as I said, we had 21. Right now we've got 23. Um, we'll probably get up to 25 by the time the competition starts, and who knows who those people will end up being. We've got some feelers out to some pretty big fish um, and some great people already on board who are pretty pretty high up in the, in the film and TV world here um, and in London. and. Um, and in Canada, as I said, um, we want to just invite everybody to to come. Um, we've got we had people from I, mean, I was just really you know from pretty much every continent except uh, Antarctica. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so come on, Eskimos. No, I'm just kidding. But um, but uh, we, you know, I mean, uh, there's no reason why people should have to live here in Los Angeles to benefit from competition and sure. they don't even have to fly here if they can't for some you know for financial reasons or whatever um so uh you know we want to make us there's no and you know there's film industries all around the world obviously so there's <laughs> no reason why anybody should be uh should be neglected and for some reason that we did not plan our winners all three winners were from out of this country um that was just weird but they had the best scripts so you know for just the uh, opportunity competition um they were all perfectly formatted and in english and just as they're supposed to be um, the winner was from the UK. The second runner, first runner-up was from India, actually, which has a fairly burgeoning film industry, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third was from Australia. So um, it, it doesn't. Uh, none, I mean, that just happened, and um, we were really kind of sure. proud of it. But at the same time, it you know doesn't make you know being outside the country means nothing, or being inside the country means nothing. It's it's your right. script that matters. So. Sure. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. definitely uh, probably a, an unusual <laughs> finalist. Yeah. Show. But you know, I mean, it kind of speaks to the uh, world sensibility of cinema these days. You know? I think so. I mean, we had some weird comments from some people that like, how could this be? And 
it's just not the way it works. And I'm like, well, what do you mean it's not the way it works? I mean, we're <laughs> looking at the best scripts. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't care. What, what, what am I supposed to say? Oh, they're not from this country. I don't want them here. I mean, that's not the way we work, obviously. Yeah. So, um, right. you know, uh, we, and it hasn't mattered to anybody. I mean, <laughs> of course, this is good writing. Good writing is good writing is good writing. I mean, that's sure. just the way it is. Um, love is love is love, as they say. So, <laughs> what do you, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And, sure. uh, and um, you know, yeah, obviously, if we had a, a Los Angeles winner, um, then that would change the dynamic of how they went about with all of their meetings. They'd you know, have a lot of them in person instead of over the phone. Right. I, I don't know if that would matter or whatever. I mean, who knows? But uh, Charlie's doing great. Charlie Jones, our, our grand prize winner, is, uh, is, you know, is having a grand time in the UK meeting all of these people in person or on the phone, and um, it's been great. So I can't wait until we get our next round of uh, entries and uh, start finding our next great scripts and start helping writers get there. So the, uh, the last question I kind of have is uh, sure. how, many, uh, how many scripts did you get this year and, and do you have an indication of how many you're expecting, you know, how, how much, because everything grows every year as, as people yeah. learn about it. So uh, what do you think is uh, your projection for this next year? Well, we had almost 200 scripts this year, which I know, you know, seems low. I mean, on one level, it seems low. On another level, it's like we were first year competition, came out of the blue, uh, you know, had very minor amount of, uh, of, um, of uh, press, you know, or, or promotion. We pretty much mm-hmm. did it on Twitter and Facebook, stuff like that. And we got 200 scripts. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I, you know, I'm hoping that obviously that goes to somewhere around 500 at least this coming year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we've gotten some press. Obviously, our word of mouth, I know, is really good. Uh, we have some, hopefully, some things coming up that might put us in the eye a little bit um, because we're getting such good press and people are really getting behind this idea of the rewriting uh, you know, that people are talking about it and it might be featured in certain places. I can't say for sure, but what we're hoping. Sure. Um, and, you know, the level of industry people that we have is really, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I mean, I've been in this industry for a long time, so I know a lot of people and I'm really grateful to them for saying yes. I don't have to twist their arm. I mean, they get it. They get that this is a great idea. Um, mm-hmm. you know, and that it's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not like it's being of service, like we're doing it for free, but we're doing it at a greatly reduced price. And the fact that you can re-enter for free as many times as you want for free, working on it on your own and then sending it again and again and again, or working on it with, you know, another, you know, another uh, consultant or whatever and sending it in for free. Um, you know, we're not out to gouge you. Um, so people get it. And they think that, you know, the helping aspect of it is is really, uh, you know, important and appealing. So, I mean, I think that people will see that it's not like your run-of-the-mill six people that you meet. You know, you're meeting, right. you know, kind of probably going to be about 25 people, some of them heads of companies, financiers, you know, uh, you know well-known industry people. Um, on every aspect of the industry. And, uh, you know, I hope that that will uh, tempt people because it's this great group of people. Um, I also wanted to just say uh, something that came up that really I feel really good about is that we decided uh, as well that we were going to give a portion of our uh, profits to a charity of the grand prize winner's choice because like this is a world is really horrible at the moment. Um, well, I won't say horrible. It's, uh, I, I don't. But it's 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 a very divided world, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of difficult stuff out there. Not just in our uh, upcoming presidential election. By the time this airs, it'll probably have passed, and God willing, we'll 
be living in a democracy, but um, still. But it's, it's hard out there. I mean, life, you know, life is tough in, in a lot of countries, and life, people's lives are tough. And, and people's lives, even in the best of circumstances, are difficult. So they know people who are suffering. And we just want to, I don't know, I mean, we just want to kind of be, I don't want to get goody-goody about it, but we just thought, you know, why don't we just say that's one of your prizes. One of your prizes is you get to use some money to give. And it's not money that is your prize. It's from us, like, to say, you know, we appreciate you and we appreciate your work. And so we've decided that, you know, and this will grow. I don't know if it will stay the same, but, you know, this year we gave 5% of our earnings away uh, mm-hmm. to uh, two charities of our winners, our grand prize winner's choice. And um, I've got to say it was one of the best things <laughs> about the whole experience um, was giving back. I mean, I think the whole thing feels like giving back. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, we're not sure. making some money off of it. Of course we are, but, I mean, not enough to – to live on. It's not like we're raking it in. And we're giving it away um, because I think that's how you have to live your life and uh, to be really happy and successful. And um, we're happy to give it away. And I know that the two, um, the two charities that Charlie chose were, you know, really shocked and grateful uh, to receive as much money as they did from out of the blue. And uh, there were small, small, British charities that, you know, couldn't believe they were getting a call at, you know, my two o'clock in the morning <laughs> from <laughs> some strange American woman saying, we want to give you, uh, you know, $500 or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, we're just trying to make it different, you know. We're trying to create a little niche for ourselves uh, mm-hmm. so that, that uh, you're not just entering the same sort of basic, competition. And, and that's not to say that the competitions out there aren't great because they all have something great to provide, whether they be notes or contacts, or, you know, just like we do. But we want to mm-hmm. give it a little bit extra, which is sort of our, you know, and a little bit extra for free. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, because I feel like not only is the world difficult, but this industry is really difficult. And you need people on your side and um, you need people who want to help you because uh, because for the love of the of the product, you know, for the love of the content, for the love of the script, for the love of the movie, for the love of the show, for the love of the emotion that that brings, whatever. And that's why we're here. And uh, it's all about, I think, trying to get the best material out there and helping one another helping each other find a place for it and introducing people to people who are going to get it. So we kind of, you know, we're willing to not become billionaires off of this to uh, maybe make it a little easier for people to find their way in the, in the crowded world of entertainment. So um, not to sound saintly because uh, (laughs) uh, it's not, we're not trying, we're not saintly, but I think we're giving, we're giving as much as we can. And, uh, yeah. and feel good about that. And I think that people have responded really well to it, and I hope they continue to. So I'm really excited about this next, next round to see how, we've, how far we've come um, and how, what the word of mouth is and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So. Yeah, no, that all sounds great. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I mean, I, I, I love that aspect of uh, – you know, of the prize that you're giving uh, a little piece to, to charity. I think that's just, that's just wonderful. Uh, you know, yeah, nothing more, <laughs> nothing more, nothing, no better way to say that. It's just a wonderful little facet of uh, what seems yeah. to be a great competition. Well, thank you. Thanks. Um, fingers crossed for, for it to, <laughs> you know, for it to grow and, and prosper and uh, for people to find it and, under, you know, and see the, you know, not just the prizes that you can win, but the prizes that just come from being, you know, if you take advantage of it, being a part of it. Um, And hopefully, you know, just for some people, getting that script out to to other places and winning there, great. I mean, I'm so proud. (laughs) 
<laughs> of those people. Yeah. You know, I feel like a little part of, you know, like we couldn't give them the grand prize, but we, we helped them in some way. And, and really that's, you know, it, 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 that's what the world's got to be like. So we're just like this little microcosm of, of hopefully, you know, helping people meet other people who are going to help them. If we can't be the, be the, you know, if we can't give them the grand prize, let's hope we can give them that connection through their Absolutely. helping their writing. So that's what we're about. Well, uh, I want to thank you so much for coming on today. And uh, Thanks, before John. we go, can just uh, let us know, uh, you know, where people can submit uh, their their screenplays for this year's competition, and and if they need to. Uh, you know, reach out to you guys directly, uh, you know, if they have questions or whatever, how can they do that as well? Sure. Well, the um, submissions, early submissions start um, on December 13th, uh, so in about five weeks. I can't believe that. It's hard to believe that December is in about five weeks, well, six weeks mm-hmm. or so. And um, our website is www.finishlinescriptcomp, or you can write scriptcompetition.com. Uh, finish line script competition. You can use the contact sheet there to come to uh, reach out to us via email, or you can write info at script, finish line script competition dot com, and we will get back to you right away. Answer any questions. We uh, we receive script submissions through Film Freeway, and uh, there's plenty of uh, buttons on our site that link you straight to Film Freeway and get you uh, get you on board. And we have, by the way, I'll just add that throughout the competition, we will have, you know, discount periods. And sometimes we just wake up and say, let's offer 25% off today. And we do. And um, so, you know, there's, or we'll offer giveaways or this is or that and stuff like that. So um, keep an eye open for that. And we're on Twitter at Finish Line Script. Uh, without the T. And um, you can, you know, see our postings there and who we're all, what we're all about there and all of our contact info. And on Facebook as well, Finish Line Skip Competition. Great. And I will uh, be sure to include all those links in the show notes so that uh, if people are listening to the podcast, they can go right there. And uh, Very hopefully good. they will be uh, this year's grand prize winner. Yes, and thank you, and and congratulations on your starting this podcast as well. It sounds like it's been a real big success. It's been a lot of fun. uh, That's great. So I think we're all doing good work, helping uh, helping filmmakers and writers uh, get a lay of the land a little bit better. Okay, well, you have a great day. All right, thanks, John. Take care. I hope that interview gave you some insight into why Jenny Frankfurt is so involved with the competition and why she feels that this contest gives back to the writing community. If you're looking for more opportunities to develop your writing, a competition like Finish Line Script Competition offers writers a unique opportunity to develop their script for the contest with the help from professionals in the business at a pretty reasonable cost. The truth is, getting this kind of feedback can be both costly and difficult to obtain without some good contacts. Like any competition, the odds will be stacked against you to actually win. But because of the rewriting component of this competition, the promise to help develop the writing on your current script will still allow you to realize some value in entering, even if you don't win. If you have any questions or comments for me, you can contact me at IndieFilmNYC.com forward slash contact or follow us on Twitter at the same username, at IndieFilmNYC. And if you like this podcast, please consider subscribing to us on iTunes. And if you could leave us a rating and a review, it will help other filmmakers find us and let us reach more people.